hello friends welcome back you are watching the next skins friends today i'm talking about how to apply acl to stop the service of telnet or ssh friends sometimes it becomes very important for us to stop such services because we do not want to access these services by an unauthorized person or for some security reasons we stop uh, these services for particular host or particular network so Today I will explain about this. So first of all, you should have knowledge about the ACL. So ACL stands for Access Control List, and we can apply ACL on port numbers, protocols, and it has a massive range for for filtering network. Okay. Simply, you can say ACL filter and network on basis of protocols, services, port numbers, etc. and etc. Okay, so we gonna to use today standard ACL through which we will filter the packet that are coming to a router interface. So let's get started without wasting time. So here you can see this is a network topology that I have created for this lab here this is my cloud from the network is coming and here it is network 1 this is network 2 and this is network 3 okay and uh, these are three routers which are interconnected and the uh, router 1 is connected from the cloud through which the internet is coming so here I have provided the all uh, basic configuration to these routers and uh, systems i have given the the static ip to all the pcs you can check here server so here i will type ip config okay so then you can see here i have given the ip that is ip before version 4 and 1.0.0.2 and its default gateway is here and its subnet mask is this one okay to all the system i have provided the ip and i have given the ip to all interfaces of the routers as here you can see here is my network 2.0.0.0 and here is 3 and this one is my 5 and this will be 4 and this is start from 1 and this will be starting from 6 okay so these 6 network i have taken here and i will block or you can say i will deny the traffic from the network address that is 4.0.0.0 zero okay so all host from this network can't access the service of telnet and other from one and five they can access the telnet so let's do it so first of all we have to enable the service of telnet on the router so on router 3 we will enable the telnet and then we'll access from the client pc so let's get started so first i will enable this router okay and we will go to the router privilege mode and there we will go to global configuration mode and here we have to enable the telnet okay so to enable telnet we simply type here line vt y0 and 4 okay and next we will provide a password to this so the password for telnet i will keep it same as telnet and here i will type login okay the users with the having the password they can log in in the telnet okay now i have made the changes sorry here i have to type full complete command okay exit exit and right okay now we have enabled the telnet and after this we have to go to again global configuration mode and here we will create an access list so that we can filter our network so first what i said here you can see i have written all the networks so network 1 2 3 5 and 6 these will be permitted um, i mean these can access the tenant but the network that is 4.0.0.0 so in my case this is this one can't access the tenant all the hosts that are in this network can't access the service of tenant on this router okay so let's create an access list for this so for that we have to type access hyphen list space here you have to type the number i am typing here the list number two space and then permit okay first i am permitting the networks and then we will write the networks that i am going to deny so here i will permit one dot o dot O dot o or you can say 1.0.0.0 and then we have to write here the wildcard mask of this network so friends if you don't know about wildcard mask or how to calculate wildcard mask so for you i explain in very simple terms 
so you can take 255.255.255 okay as a base okay and uh, whatever subnet mask you have for in my example i have taken the class aip okay and its subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 zero so we will subtract this subnet mask from this okay and the answer that we will get will be our subnet mask as you can see here the subnet mask of class a is this one and we will subtract from this okay you can take as base to this okay and the remaining will be our wildcard mask so here you can see clearly that 0 0.255.255.255 will be our wildcard mask so let's come to the point again here yeah. so this one is router okay we have typed this uh, wildcard mask of this ip and now i will permit the another network that is two okay enter again we will do for the network three and we will deny to four so the next two networks are five and six okay enter now we have permitted these five networks now we will deny the network number four okay that is this one so for that we have to type access hyphen list two and uh, remember that we have to uh, type the same number here we cannot change this list number okay and then we have to deny we are denying here so type denying if you want to allow then permit and want to deny then write deny here and which network this is 4.0.0 and it's wildcard mask as i described how we can calculate in the same way you can write okay now we have done we have allowed five networks and denied one network here so next to this we again go to vty terminal okay 04 uh, sorry 0 space 4 enter and here to this list we will provide that we have created an access list and you have to filter this okay so access hyphen class 2 okay here you have to type the number of uh, this access list as we have mentioned to here if you write any uh, something else then you have to type the same number here and now enter if you could directly enter here then you will see it is incomplete command you can see more here okay you can type the number between one two triple nine and if you will give space and again then you have the two option here that is in and out filter incoming connection or filter outgoing connection so here in the topology i am doing for the incoming traffic okay here you can clearly see these are host of this network the network will be from inside not from the outside so we are typing here in and if you will write out here then the packet will be filtered from the outside network okay these are inside network so the network will be filtered from the inside after that we will hit enter now we have done and one more thing we have to do here that we have to provide the security to the router privilege mode okay so for that we will type enable secret space and i will keep the password that is cc nanny okay and and then now we have done everything now it's time to verify that we have the acl is working or not now before that we will exit from here and write this configuration to our startup config so next we have to log in from these client okay first we will log in from this network to verify that acl is working or not we have to log in from the network 5.0.0.0 so from the pc 8 i will verify okay here it is pc 8 and i will go to command prompt and then type here but before i will show you the ip address of this host okay here you can clearly see that 5.0.0.0.5 it's the ip address version 4 to this host now next we have to check the service of telnet so here i will type telnet and the ip address of this interface that is 5.0.0.1 okay enter it is asking for the password because we haven't given the usernames we directly provide the password so that we can access it here i keep the password that was telnet okay and here we can easily log in into the router 
and its password to access the privilege mode was cc and, and here you can see that we can easily log in on the router now let's check that this network can access the service of talent or not so for that i will go to pc6 this one and go to the command prompt and here i will again show you the conf ip configuration of this pc and here you can see its ip is this one and its default gateway is this one so next to access the telnet we have to type telnet and for this network we can access the telnet from this port so its ip i have given 3.0.0.2 enter now here you clearly can see that connection refused by remote host it means the SEL remove or denied this traffic to access the telnet so again we do the same to cross check that it is for one or two times okay again you can see acl has refused this traffic to enter into the network so now check for this network that it is happening same with this or it can access the telnet so now again we will check the ip config and then here you can see i have provided the static ip to this pc and then we will type telnet 3.0.0.2 okay and uh, now here you can see that the host from this network can access this telnet okay so it means our acl is working so in this way we can stop or deny any host or any network to access the service like telnet or you can do same with ssh as well so friends in this tutorial we have seen that how we can block any network by applying the acl here ACL as I told you it is a wide concept we have many services many thing to apply in the ACL so for that I will bring a new video for you so till then stay with us and if you like our videos please hit like option <laughs>